Hi, my name is Jason Chaco, and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglent Technologies North America. Today we're going to talk about the SDS 1004X-E series embedded web control. This is actually the first oscilloscope that Siglent's manufactured that has an onboard web control. Uh, this allows you to monitor the scope and control it from anywhere without downloading any software to your laptop or PC. All you'll need is a, a LAN connection and a computer with a browser. Um, you can either run this connecting directly to a, the LAN with a, with a cable, or we can, uh, we can also update it with the LAN or the Wi-Fi option. Uh, simply insert the Wi-Fi dongle into the back of the instrument after upgrading the, with the license. And wi wireless adapter is going to be uh, connected. And now we're going to go into the utility menu. We're going to go down to the I.O., which is going to give us all of the control over the various uh, inputs that we have to control the instrument. And that interface is default set to LAN. We're going to change that to wireless LAN. And now we want to set up the Wi-Fi. Once we do that, in this case, this has been pre-configured, but we'll enable the Wi-Fi. And then you can do a manual scan, and that will show you all of the available networks that you can connect to. And you can use this key to then select, or this knob to then select that particular value. Uh, then we're going to enter the SSID or the information for that particular network and then the password. Once we do that, we'll hit the connect key and you'll see that we have a nice Wi-Fi connection here and the instrument will let you know that everything has been configured. The second step that we're going to do is connect uh, to the IP or we're going to need an IP address. So we hit IP address. DHCP is typically off in the default configuration. We want to enable that. And that's going to go out on the network and enable the network to assign an IP address. Once that is assigned, you'll see we have the IP address, the subnet mask, gateway, and MAC address. We're just going to write down the MAC or the IP address here, uh, 192.168.1.177. And we're going to save that information on a piece of paper, and we're going to immediately jump over to our laptop to take a look at the web control interface. And so now we go over to our computer with our internet connection, and we're going to open up a browser window. We're going to enter the IP address that we were given from the oscilloscope that was generated by its connection to this particular Wi-Fi network. Uh, so I entered it here, and then after hitting enter, the home page will come up. This is actually hosted on the oscilloscope itself. It provides you some interesting information like the model and serial number. But more interesting is going to be that instrument control, which is located down here. Uh, once we click on the instrument control, that's going to open up a virtual control front panel for the oscilloscope. So once the instrument control has loaded, we can see a number of features here. First thing to notice is that we have an actual image of the display on the oscilloscope. This can be extremely helpful if you're doing remote troubleshooting. You can screen refresh. That's going to update the screen for whatever the instrument is, is showing. We can also save that screen image if you want to email that to a colleague or save it for a report. We can configure the instrument back to its original, original setup using the default button. We have also have auto setup if we want to have the oscilloscope decide what input settings we need in order to capture that, uh, that input signal. You can stop and run the scope, uh, single trigger, also set the trigger levels. Uh, you can also update the oscilloscope itself with a new firmware revision remotely. Uh, here you'll see we have horizontal controls, acquisition controls, as well as all of the triggers. And each of our channels are located down here, so we can enable or disable channels as well as measurements. And I'll scroll down. Uh, we can refresh and apply any of those new settings. So we can reconfigure the oscilloscope from a distance, uh, apply those settings, and the oscilloscope will then reconfigure to those settings. So we have full control over the oscilloscope. Again, without any additional software, all we needed to do was just connect up to the internet with our computer, uh, type in the IP address, and we're all set. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact your local Siglent distributor or office. And uh, today, that, or that covers all of our uh, Wi-Fi and our onboard web page information. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.